And what is up guys? Welcome back to Excelsior Yourself for another video. So today we have another sales video. This is for the first week in March. And I think my new mission is going to be to catch up on these sales videos so I can post them as soon as the week is over because uh, it's towards the end of March now as I'm getting ready to post the, the, uh, the clips that I've recorded. And it doesn't really do you guys any good to sort of hear me saying like, you know, I've only got one of these in stocks or get it while you can if the video is being posted like three weeks later because there's a pretty high probability that the item's are already gone by then. So my new mission is going to be to catch up on these sales videos. So I'll be posting a couple uh, probably over the next week so that we can get caught up fully so that you guys can be fully up to speed on the sales and the items that I have in my shop. So let's jump into these sales for the first week of March. All right, everybody, we're here with a fresh new week in sales. So the first purchase we had was a return buyer who purchased two lots of 22 heavily played lightly played cards. One of them did have a foil in it, so it was a little bit more expensive than the other. It was the foil hyper chicane that I pulled in the, um, the how much profit can we make video that was well scratched up. So these two lots both sold for a total of $49.98 even, so $50 even for these two to get the week started. Next up, we had a new buyer purchase three loose mint vehicles. It was a CM6 Ratified, a CM6 Rolling Thunder, and a CM5 Riveted. I only have one Riveted left in stock, so get it while you can. These three cars are gone for a total of $32 even. Thank you for that purchase. And then the last sale of today was a new buyer who purchased a lot of 37 near mint to mint cards, uh, mostly common and uncommon cards, a lot of vehicle cards in there. You guys are really coming after the vehicle cards hard right now, that's for sure. I mean, I've never really been low on uh, vehicle cards, but like I'm running out of stock of several, like uh, Baseline, Synchro, Power Age, Carvide. Uh, I'm always seeming to be down to my last one or two copies or sold out. So the total on this order was $47 even, and thank you for that purchase. So it was a little bit slow in the middle of the week. It is Thursday morning now. We sold a lot of 22 heavily played, lightly played cards. I definitely don't have many of these left in stock. I'm just running really, really low on heavily played cards, at least until I can find some more on eBay. So the total on this sale was $21 even. Thank you for that purchase. And continuing on the next purchase, we had a lot of four card sell on your main condition. We sold a power bomb card. I don't know what's up with power bombs flying off the shelf right now, but for some reason, power bombs become really popular. Uh, traction control. Sprout Road and my last copy of Nitrox 3 that I had in stock. This foil card is gorgeous and it is gone. The total on this sale was $35 even, so thank you for that purchase. All right, guys, it's Friday now. We're packaging up some orders. So the first order of the day is a lot of nine Near Mint Accelerators cards. I'll flip through them real quick. Canyon Realm, two active camouflages, two RDO3 version twos, two sweepers, and two RDO ones to wrap it up. So the total on this order was $22.50 even. So thank you for that purchase. Pretty sure this is a new buyer. So uh, if you get my little note about the channel, welcome to the channel. Moving on, the next one we had was a CM6 ratified loose mint condition. Total on this was $12 even. So thank you for that purchase. All right, so next up we had a pretty big order of cards, mostly rares and foils. So let's go through real quick. It was a copy of Drifting, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Pedal to the Metal, Emergency Brake, Slam Ram Hyperpod, and Hot Wire. And then as far as foils go, it was eight total foil cards, which were Shell Skin, Strato Thruster, Bootlegger Reverse, Hyper Reverb, Home Track Advantage, Armored Plow, Size Scaler. This is one of my favorite foil cards. I love the coloring on it. And then the last one was a feather frame foil card. So the total on this order was $165 even. So thank you so much for this purchase. And it definitely took a hit on my uh, foil inventory. I think I had like 71 foils in stock and now I'm down to 63. So it took about a good sixth of what I had as far as foils go. It's time to wrap up this week in sales. It is Monday morning. So let's go ahead and see what we have to ship out today. So first things first, we have one buyer make a pretty massive purchase, a bunch of different items. So we purchased a lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played cards. And uh, I actually don't think I'll be listing any more of these for the time being until I get more in because I just I have a bunch of mods and hazards that are heavily played to lightly played, but I don't have like any more vehicle cards really. So um, that'll be it for those. So he purchased that. Then he purchased a lot of nine total near mint to mint cards, including four duplicates. And then he made an absolutely massive purchase, which was a lot of 69 total accelerators cards near mint to mint condition. Uh, 30 of them were duplicates, so I'm assuming he's using some of these to play with the card game with. So that is awesome. Then additionally, he also purchased a accelerators starter set kit that comes with the rule book, 
the tokens, uh, the quick reference cards, everything is still factory sealed, and a CM6 ratified that I tossed in there. So that was also part of the purchase. And then the last item that he purchased was a CM5 riveted. Gorgeous, loose mint condition. So the total on all these items was $146 even. Thank you so much for that purchase and I hope you enjoy. So next up, we had another return buyer purchased a total lot of 33 near mint to mint cards. Um, it was, I think it was like 22 different cards and 33 total. And we'll flip through these real quick because they are mostly rare and uncommon cards. So it was Torqued Pile Driver, three copies of Visor Mask, three copies of Simulator Run, two copies of Pedal to the Metal. Then we have Torqued Hollow Back, Hyper Nightlife, Hyper Baseline, Torqued Jaw Jammer, Hyper High Voltage. That's a cool looking card. Then we have three copies of Rebin is Racing. Then we have Torqued Rolling Thunder, Torqued Flathead Fury, Torqued Ratified, Torqued Riveted, two copies of Slalom, Hyper Battle Spec, three copies of Wheel Shield, two copies of Dragon Torch, and then the last card in the lot was a Hyper Power Rage. Oh wait, I forgot. So those are the rare and uncommon. So then we had three foil cards that he also purchased in that lot, which were a Hyper Chicane foil card, a Torqued Spine Buster foil card, and a Hyper Power, or a Torqued Power Bomb foil card. So the total on this lot was $146 even, and a lot of those rare vehicle cards like uh, the Torqued Metal Maniacs and the Hyper type of vehicles are getting harder and harder to find, so if you're missing those, definitely get them while you can, especially because the booster pack supply is kind of drying up. So $146 even, thank you so much for that purchase. So moving on, next up, we had a lot of three Loose Mint Seller Series vehicle cars, which were a dark brown CM5 Rolling Thunder. My lighting is always kind of off in these videos. I'm not sure why I'm trying to move this so you guys can get a better look at the colors on it. So a CM5 Dark Brown Rolling Thunder, a CM6 Baseline Gorgeous, and a CM5 Silk Red Hollowback. This is the better looking Hollowback, not the cheap plasticky version. And the total on this sale was $38 even, so thank you for that purchase. Moving on, we had another lot of six Accelerators cards near mid to make condition, which were Hyper Spectite, the Monument Realm, the Water Realm, RDO2, the Swamp Realm, and another Hyper High Voltage card. These cards are moving very fast. But the total on this order was $23 even, so thank you for that purchase. And then the last purchase of the week was a lot of eight Near Mint to Mint Accelerators cards. It was mostly common cards and a couple of Swamp Realms. But the total on this order was $17 even, so thank you for that purchase, and hopefully you enjoy these. And that will wrap up this week in sales, guys. Uh, we had another pretty good week, and I'm about to list some 3D foils here in a second, so hopefully next week will be even better. So as always, smash the like and subscribe button for more content from the Accelerators Hub, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.